Season's greetings, everybody. I'm about to review Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I've been waiting to talk about this movie for a very, very long time. You know, sadly, most likely Bob Hoskins passed away. He will miss him playing Eddie Valiant. But most actors are still around this very day. He like Christopher Lloyd. Even Tina Turner plays Jessica Rabbit. This movie was a big, huge box office success by Richard Williams, which we best known him as doing the Thief and the Cobbler. Plus, I'm wearing these classic 3D glasses from 2012, because they were cool in them. Plus, you can see the movie right through my glasses, kind of. Or you're just seeing my reflection on the tablet. Oh, well, you can see the movies on my glasses now. Anyhow, the movie's about, not only about Roger Rabbit, but a great detective named Eddie Valiant. <coughs> and the reason why he doesn't like to work for tunes, and he has a tragic backstory. And he has a beloved interest of Doris working at a bar right next to a train track. And there's a reason why he doesn't like tunes. And people keep on forcing him to make him do it for an offer of the money. And Doris says that line. Yep, that's the reason why he hates tunes, because a certain tune has murdered his brother. The best thing about this movie is has mind them crossovers. Yep, has Daffy, Donald Duck, most likely these wonderful designs of animation characters in one film I'm combined together. There's like RK Maroon. You and this guy. <laughs> yeah, Marvin Acme owns the place. Not only that, there's like lots of famous cameos in it. And like Droopy, Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, and the classic character, Betty Boop. And I love how. Yep, I love how Eddie Valiant is nice to Betty Boop because him and his brother love Betty Boop. And this was the very first appearance of Jessica Rabbit's great appearance of her being a interesting model. That she marries Roger Rabbit is the very <clears throat> hot interest. We got a bad backstory where him and his brother used to be great friends. And so there's Toontown right next to a building and find the crime on who murdered some of a drop of save on its head. Also foreshadowing all these dangerous weapons in the Acme factory. And we're getting introduced by the main villain, Judge Doom, played by Christopher Lloyd. That his goal is to find the rabbit who thinks he did it, thinking Roger killed the person, along with his henchmen, 
Toon Patrol. AKA the Weasels, they're called. And they're like the best characters in this entire movie. Because Weasels were awesome back in the day. That their goal is to find a way to kill Toons in the most terrifying way possible. That green stuff is called the dip. And it's the most disturbing way possible when he drops that poor little shoe inside that stuff, turns like blood. A gruesome death. I saw this as a kid, terrified of me, scarred me for life. But anyways, Andy Valiant refuses to find who really did it. And he meets Roger Rabbit at his office to think he, he done it, but he's innocent. He would not harm anybody. And laughter. A green piece of paper, spoiled, is actually the will oh, from Mr. Acme himself, Maroon. Anyhow, Rot sure is innocent, and luckily, Emmy Valiant hides from her from the Toon Patrol, oh, from the Weasels. Also, and he has a good heart to keep. Roger are alive. Hides him underneath the bar. Or doors is at, so how they figure out who's behind it all. To not give too much away about this movie, it's stupendously great. It has like wonderful cast of characters, including Benny the Vehicle, which I haven't showed you. It's funny, it's stupendous, it's gloriously funny. Who Frank Roger Robin has amazing characters and has like seeing both live action people react to tunes. It's one of the best movies from 1988 that acts like in the 1950s. And it's the only time we get to see Roger Rabbit make a comeback in the top. <clears throat> Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers movie. It was a perfect time for me to talk about this movie's amazing storyline. And it's obviously Judge Doom who actually murdered a person. This movie's meant for like for kids and adults. I will not give too much away, those of you who haven't seen the movie yet, it's totally worth watching. Even worth your time. Even money. Or rented at the library. Simple storyline. Figure out who the murderer is. Which I already said is Judge Doom. But you have to see the entire movie all for yourself. On what Judge Doom's plan is. Why is they glorious? There's cameos of Droopy and more. Her cast a memorable character that makes me laugh. And then have like a live action person like Eddie Valiant. There's in the Toon World is one of the coolest parts. Seeing both Mickey and Bugs Bunny there. It makes it worth watching. Has amazing music, beautiful animation, voice acting, wonderful backgrounds, great effects. 
is the reason why I loved this movie as a kid. It knows how to be perfect, and knows how to be glorious. They know how to make these scenes worth enjoying. They know how to make it scary too. That's the reason why I love this movie as a kid back then. I still love it to this very day. Everybody reviewed this movie countless times. It still will be remember as one of the best films out there. And Bob Hoskins, God bless us all. I always miss him being the most funny actor in the mall since Hook. Hook 1991. <clears throat> So not to give too much away, you have to see the film for yourself. So Who Framed Roger Rabbit is still... Oh, the famous film to ever existed in children's timeline. So... Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day or night time of me reviewing this movie. I'm just gonna take like a short break from all that gameplay for now. I'm glad to talk about this amazing film that came out so long ago. Send so, out uh, hearts of Porky Pig to end this review for me. Yeah.